Hi guys out there. Thomas here. Hope you guys are having a good day. And um, uh, I wanted to. This topic is going to be on the OJ, Ornthal James. And we all know what he did, and, um, and that's part of his legacy. Uh, he, I mean, he was a good football player. And I guess you can say you can say he was a great murderer too, because the guy was a murder, definitely. And I, I wanted to spend this time um, because at the time it was very con controversial. Uh, we talked about 1995, and uh, we had what happened with uh, uh, a lot of racial incidents going on, and we had uh, what was going on with uh, OJ and uh, and the trial and all this sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna spend a little bit more time here on this on this podcast because. Um, it was a part of my life, and, and uh, it was it was very important that I wanted to talk about this. And you know, I'm not sure you guys gonna stick to the end, but I'm just gonna let it fly, okay? And this is my my take. So um, everything I say here is is based on what my uh, observations were at the time and what they are now. Um, I've got some video here. I'm going to say it's fair use because it's been out there for a long time, and you know, and I want to give credit to the people who uh, who produced it. Um, uh, but it's fair use, and I'm, I'm not going to, um, you know, um, say outlandish things. But I've I got these uh, receipts here um, that I'm going to talk about, and. Uh, with that, I'm going to just go ahead and bring it. Okay. Uh, first thing, um, OJ, I never met the man, uh, but I know of his, his talents. And um, and uh, um, he was a great guy, if you understand. I used to listen to him. He came on, I, I used to be a big Howard Stern fan. So this was 19, before 1995 and all this thing went down. Uh, I was probably in my early 30s. Uh, yeah, probably like 30, 31 years old, and, uh, and he used to come on the Howard Stern show and listen to him and everything like that, um, and O.J. Simpson was, I mean, he was living life, I mean, he, he I mean, he was rich, uh, he's, he was been on TV, he had commercials, um, and he married up, he married a white woman, <laughs> I got to I got to say well, he, 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 white woman. What? White woman. Yes, he did. Yes. Yeah. He couldn't stick with the with the with the, uh, with the sisters, so he had to go with the with the white women. And we know how our sisters hate when they when the black man go to the to the other to the others. So, um I'm not going to say anything about that because that's their preference and that's my preference as he chose to do what he chose to do. Um, if all of the purposes, uh, O.J. Simpson wasn't black anymore. He was white. <laughs> he, you may have seen this, but for all of the purposes, that man was white. He was a white brother. He was faking to be black. Exactly right. When it came time for him to be black, he was doing this, uh, trial. But all before this time, you know, after he left the NFL, and <coughs> he went with doing all this, this TV commercial, and he sold out. So when it became more apropos for him to become black, then he got, oh, yeah, I'm black. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm black. <laughs> but for most of the purposes, the man was, he liked white people. I mean, <coughs> I mean, he was white. He had the country clubs. Uh, he went to the right clubs. He went to the right people. He played uh, golf all the time. Um, he was an A-lister. You know, they they didn't see this. They saw this because uh, O.J. Simpson was definitely the man. Mm -hmm. He could have anything he wanted <coughs> back in those days. Uh, I ain't hanging out with these with these black people. No, no. <laughs> Oh, I can't get no time for that. I got my Bentley over here. I got my Rolls Royce over here. And I got my white woman right here. <laughs> I don't need no brothers and sisters. <laughs> I, I left that <laughs> a long time ago. 
So for all for my all of his purposes, O.J. Simpson was white until it became time for him to turn become black during this trial. So <coughs> O.J. Simpson was um, a comedian, I put it like that, a chameleon, where he <coughs> he played both sides when it was convenient for him, definitely, and um, um, and he was. Manipulative, um, definitely clairvoyant. Um, everybody liked him. I mean, he was a good guy. He was a handsome young man. He was a handsome man. He was rich. He had power. And um, so this whole situation happened. But I guess what happened is the relationship between him and his old lady, um, you know, uh, blew up. And. Um, you know, he just just went off, and so it was just a situation. And um, you know, OJ was a—I mean, he was a—he was a man, but that's what it is. So, but I'm going to show you this video with him. I think this is one of those commercials that I remember seeing him when I was a kid, and um, I think it was it was a fantastic video. <laughs> Definitely. So, I'm going to um, show it to you in just a second. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. I'm going to show this video. Yeah. Here we go. I'm running through the airport. <laughs> like you, <a> Superman. <laughs> and uh, he's getting a car and. You know, these are all four products, and uh, uh, yeah, and that's the OJ. Yeah, and that's one of the commercials that I remember seeing, <clears throat> seeing him in, and I was like, <clears throat> the band was bad, bad, and um, and that commercial, you know, just set him apart from everybody else, and also he, OJ was a brand. And, um, definitely, he was a brand, um, and so he was also in Roots too. That's right, he was in Roots too. Um, he he uh, was running with uh, uh, Kunta Kente. Uh, yeah, he had a, a role in. Um, oops, I forgot about that. Nineteen seventy-seven, and uh, he was like I said, famous guy. Everybody loved him. He knew all the connections. He was on TV. He was on commercials. I mean, he he found a way to, to make money, and I'm not blaming him. I'm not shaming him. I'm, I'm glad, God bless him. <laughs> but how the tail end of his life uh, ended up, uh, well, I wasn't I wasn't happy about that at all. And um, so uh, when he was. Um, when this whole situation went down with uh, uh, his wife and all this other thing, and uh, um, it was something else. And uh, when I heard about the murder, um, I was like, "Wow!" And I was, <clears throat> I was um, saddened by it because of the ending of of uh, <clears throat> some of life tragically like that. <clears throat> Um, happened. Um, I I felt bad for the family. I felt bad for him and for the children. The children they lost their they lost their mom and uh, um, the Goldman family they lost their son. And uh, I was and I was I was hurt. Um, and Mich and um, um, Michelle Brown she was a pretty lady. I mean she was fine definitely. And to, and to end up dead, don't end up dead. Well, that was a, a tragedy for me, and I, and I felt bad. <clears throat> but then um, we um, heard a little bit later on that they were looking at uh, O.J. Simpson as being um, part of this whole thing, and that he was named in this. And then they had the the infamous. Um, um, car chase, the white Bronco. <laughs> Everybody stopped buying white Broncos 
back in the day, Broncos uh, four product, <laughs> and uh, they had the low speed chase. He was flying through uh, West LA uh, with his friend Al Callen, and uh, and it was it was on all the news, all the news. And I have a clip for from right now. I think this is from. Um, the New York Post. Fair use, everybody. Fair use. Okay, I'm just, I'm just putting this on here. I'm just giving you credit, but I'm gonna show this right now. So, uh, just give me a second here. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah. Well, this this <clears throat> this chase um, is something else. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. And you can see the chase going on with uh, LAPD um, on the 5 or the 405 and uh, followed closely. Um, and there's OJ and people were, <laughs> well, they still do these, these high speed chases now in LA. LA. Um, this is nothing. <laughs> But uh, um, but this is the thing, and uh, I remember when this is going on. I was going over my my sister house um, because I I was supposed to be over there, and and uh, my sister, uh, my two nephews, my three nephews, and I forgot what I was over there. But I was over there, and we were watching this on TV, you know, and we were you know watching this as it happened. And you know, we had the banter going on. Why is he doing this? So you know, it was it was shocking. So you know, I was like, wow. So, um, so I said, you know, it was it was interesting that this happened, and I was like, wow. So then uh, what happened was um, we watched it for because they had a it was supposed to be a basketball game at that the, the time. Yeah, it was a, it was a, a basketball game that was supposed to be happening, <clears throat> and they they stopped the basketball game. Well, they didn't show it because of this, what was going on with, uh, with this this chase. So, the, the basketball game on broadcast network was was held up so that they could do this um, chase with him. So then we watched it. You know, it didn't go off until like eight o'clock, but. The thing that reminded me the most is that <laughs> Baba Booey, <laughs> well, being a big House Stern fan, um, somebody called in, <laughs> supposedly trying to be, <laughs> they, they made a, a fake call, <laughs> trying to, um, saying that they were on the scene and they could see OJ. I see uh, OJ. <laughs> and he squinted down, squinted down like that. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> He said that uh, the cops all deep in this. It was a, I mean, it was this was the most incredible uh, fake call uh, on the, uh, about Howard Stern on national TV. <laughs> it was a, it was a masterpiece, <laughs> and, and to this day, people still talk about that. <laughs> and so, um, and at the end, the guy says "Baba Booey." <laughs> when he says "Baba Booey." We all knew <laughs> that it was a fake call, <laughs> but it was the thing with how you know, at the time how was trying to be uh, a very popular guy. He was shot dot jocking, so they so that was a, a way of him to get popularized. But he didn't tell the person to do it. The person called on him on the court, and I think the guy. The story was that the guy was pissed off. Because he was sort of watched this basketball game because he was doing the, the, the NBA Finals. And he was pissed off that the game wasn't on because he was trying to watch the basketball game. But because the basketball game was not being shown because of what was going on with uh, O.J. Simpson, um, he felt some type of way that he wanted to retaliate. He retaliated, all right. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. He got on national TV and made himself... <laughs> And made that guy look like a fool. So I still remember that. And uh, 
I remember the whole situation, and uh, it was it was cool. Um, but uh, going back to the to the white bronco, um, the Al Callen white bronco, they have a, an article here saying that they have a photo of the actual white bronco that led people in, that led the high speed chase, um, and uh, I guess you can still buy it. It's a piece of history. Definitely a piece of history, and uh, uh, I don't have the, the, the means to buy this. And I, do I want it? No, no, I don't want it. But it's a, it's. I mean, Elon Musk, <laughs> there's a car for you, bro. <laughs> but no, nah, no. Nah. But continuing on. Um, so um, we had the we had the case, and um, you, you know because of this. It's a, um, people, I mean, because this, I mean, why would, if you were innocent, if you were innocent of, of some type of murder charge, okay, why would you go on something like this? If you had nothing to hide, why would you take your behind out on a, on a trip like this, um, and with your friend? And, um, if he had all this innocent, he said he, he never did anything, why would you do this? So right then and there was a tell to me that, that, O.J. Simpson, he was shady. He was shady. Shady. So then we go to the trial. We have the court TV trial. It was the trial of the century. Yeah, and, you know, the judge, my man, <laughs> Judge Edo. I got my Judge Edo going right now. Yeah, he was a great judge. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to admonish you, sir. I'm going to admonish you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Judge Edo. <laughs> but anyway, the, the Marsha Clark and all the city guys, and you know they, uh, you know, the 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 prosecution, um, they kind of like they they messed up. They messed up. They they could have put the trial uh, in Simi Valley where it's supposed to have been at instead of being downtown L.A. Um, so I don't know what their thinking was, and when they and they thought that. Put it downtown. That's when they lost the game. Then uh, they had the dream team um, people, um, and they were able to change the perspective of the of the prosecution's test to make it more about the LAPD as opposed to, to what the trial was, basically on um, this illegality. Of the, of the of the circumstances with DNA evidence, at the time, at the time, DNA evidence was still uh, in its primacy. Now it's pretty much standard. If 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 somebody's blood was in the scene, you better come up with a good, good, good answer why your blood is in the scene. But they, were, but uh, because DNA technology at the time in the nineties was uh, was a new technology. And because <clears throat> there hadn't been a lot of trials using DNA evidence, and, and like I said, it was it was new. Uh, they were the, the the defense were able to to um, flip the script and able to show doubt on the LAPD and uh, and able to change the dynamics of the t of the um, of the case from focusing more on um, OJ onto the um, prosecution and their lack of training and and also there's some bias that they had uh, because because OJ was black and then people was white and like I said and like I said OJ wasn't black he was white until it came opportune him become black. Because <clears throat> other than that, he wouldn't care two sheets about a black person. But when it came, but when his ass is on the line, see this? <laughs> I'm gonna play the race card. And I think that was it. That was definitely it. Because uh, and then when the verdict came down, I mean, we all was holding our breath when the verdict came down and said that he was not guilty. Um, <clears throat> And I was like, wow, uh, he should have been convicted because all the evidence was there. And 
I know people will look at this case and now that um, OJ has died and, um, you know, um, they probably say he got away with it. I'm going to say he got away with it. It was the perfect crime for him. Um, because they were able to, the, the, the prosecution, and I'm no lawyer, okay, the prosecution was able to manipulate the certain facts um, to come up in OJ's favor. Um, they didn't, the prosecution uh, did not do a strong enough case and they allowed them to use their emotions instead of going with the facts of the case in order to um, prove this case that these two people had lost their lives for nothing. And that's basically what it is. They lost their life for nothing. Although, um, um, OJ, he had to give the, the people money. That's nothing than the whole lives. I mean, he had to sue the chiefs with Like, shit, you can have that. I'm, still, I'm out here doing my thing, you know? And then, and then what really pissed me off, what pissed, really pissed me off about this whole case is, uh, you know, um, my friends were at the time said, yeah, OJ was innocent. I'm like, fuck. I'm sorry about that. I said, forget that. He is guilty as sin. That man killed those people. And, I, and to this day, I believe that. I truly do believe that. And I'm also going to say that um, um, he was going to be convicted. Um, and when it came time for us behind it to um, be convicted, uh, he decided to use the race card. But other than that, no. Uh, I'm also going to say that, uh, um, you know, and like I said, what pissed me off is that uh, he said he was going to continue to look for the people who killed him. Well, look in the mirror, mofo. <laughs> You're the person that killed those people. Yeah. He said, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's going to be hard trying to find the people who killed those two people while you're on a golf course. He stayed on the golf course. <coughs> yeah. He said, yeah, I'm going to go back and look for those killers. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. And nobody, in this, in the case, nobody know who killed him. And we all know who killed him. He just got off with the perfect murder. Definitely. So, uh, so, OJ, he passed away uh, with um, prostate cancer. And uh, I don't wish that on anybody. Uh, cancer or nothing like that um, and he'll have to face the Lord <coughs> when he gets to the gate and have mercy on his soul that's all I can say because um, in my opinion he killed those two people those two lovely people and um, whatever hell he's in I hope he enjoys it because he picked it and um, you know and I'll, like I said, I'll, to my dying day, I, I believe that he, that he killed those people. And I just see that. And I wish those, <coughs> I'm sorry for the families, for the people involved. You know, I know your father's dead, you know, be that as it may. And your mother's dead. She's been gone for a long time now. And how the, the family is going to stick together, I don't know. But your daddy was a killer. I'm going to say it that way. Your daddy wasn't shit. <laughs> I'm going to say that too. He was a killer. And he got away with the perfect murder. Uh, he, he had the money too. He had a good team. And he paid them people lots of money. But that was the perfect crime. So... Well, thanks a lot, everybody. I know you guys didn't watch this video to the, to the end, but I just wanted to put my, my two cents in. And I've been keeping this for well, over 30 years now. It's going to be 30 years. Uh, well, 29 years. <clears throat> and uh, all I can say is um, O.J. Simpson, um, you, you know, you, you did the crime, but you didn't do the time. Okay, everybody. Hey, stay safe. Okay, take care. I'm out.